Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my Friday whoops and I have two womps. Not following me on Snapchat. I did say that my video today was going to be a video on this. I did purchase this set from Amazon. So this video will still be coming but I want to put these types of brushes to the test because I haven't tried any of them and I definitely want to but in case you're following my Snapchat, Lizzie whoop whoop today, I know it was supposed to be this video but I have so many beauty products that I want to talk about that I feel like I've gotten so many questions within this week through my snap or Instagram so I wanted to mention these products first off I want to mention what is my inner highlight I just recently did a snapchat and I was snapping it up and everybody and also a vlog what would Lizzie vlog uh, I kind of explained what I'm gonna be doing with my vlog channel but a ton of people were like girl what's that inner highlight at first I couldn't remember because I was using my vice I think it's the fourth one my vice four because I don't really grab for it so I've been trying to use that more but then I didn't use a highlight in there I was looking at it, I was like I didn't use an inner highlight from that palette. Then I remembered I pulled out my Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows and for me, Makeup Geek has been killing it this week for me. I don't know, I kinda like was off Makeup Geek for a while and now I'm rediscovering things and she came out with some new stuff which I'll show you but this is the shade Whimsical and this is what is in my inner highlights, inner corner and it is, so, look at that. If that ain't pigmentation, I do not know what it is, but it's super frosty and you barely need any. This may look piled on. No, this is with a pretty light hand. I love highlighting my inner corner to give me that pop, but this gives me like a bam. Now, like I said, I've been trying to pull out palettes that I haven't been using and I also pulled out these matte shadows from Makeup Geek and I find that, I don't know, it's just so hard keeping up with eyeshadows, but one that I'm currently wearing on my lid, which I think is one of the most stunning purples, I don't know, I'm not really into colors, but this purple I'm in love with and this is the color Fairy Tale right here. I have it on my lid. I'll do a swatch and it's so beautiful on the lid. I'm obsessed with this purple. Like I said, I'm not really a purple person or color in general, but I just find that it makes my brown eyes look more, I don't know, like sultry and like, ooh. I don't know what it is, but I just mean it in a good sense. And I know there's like a ton, a ton, a ton of different transition colors, but Tiki Hut, which is in my crease today, is where it's at. It's like a this brown type of, I don't know, yellow. It reminds me, I forgot MAC interrupted sort of, but more on like the warm brown side. But on my skin, when I place the primer, it looks more like what it looks like in the pot. Uh, my swatch, yeah, I think it's kind of bringing out like that yellowy diarrhea look. That's what I have in my crease today and I love the way it looks. I just sweep it in with my Sigma, I'm like sweep it in. I sweep it in with my Sigma E40 and I love this color. Like this week I've been using this a ton just on its own even when I have no other shadows just to give me a little bit of definition. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I noticed like that one little section was bare so I ended up just putting a pineapple there. Okay, so now the very last product from Makeup Geek that I've been loving are the new blushes. So she recently just reformulated all her blushes and I love the way that they come in the compact. They do have them in a regular pan. Uh, I really like those because you can really just see the colors. You put them in a Z palette or just make your own magnetic palette, which I really love, but I love the packaging where it wouldn't even make me upset to go through this because it's more of like this coppery color and like a coppery bronze. So this is the blush that I've been loving and this one is called Infatuation. I loved this blush before. This was always one of my favorites, so it still is. I'm currently wearing it right now. They blend great. I mean, I didn't really have issues with the last formula. I just gleaked. I didn't really have issues with the last formula, but now after trying this one, I don't know if it's like a placebo effect or just knowing that she reformulated it, but it works really nicely into the skin just blends I love it I haven't had any issues no patchiness and it wears for a really long time I don't really remember see or like figuring out if her old formula didn't last as long but these last all day and I love them and you don't have to buy the compact that's just like a new kind of packaging but you can just get the pet the 
pan and I think the pan is 10 and then when you buy the compact it is 14 so you are saving four dollars that's quite a bit huh so next I'm going to be talking about this Laura Geller highlighter now I've been obsessed with this color specifically and this one is in the shade ballerina they describe it as a rose gold and for some reason at first I was like uh, this is a champagne sort of gold I think that's just like so typical to say but I did say that in my recent get ready with me video if you haven't checked that out definitely check it out I think you guys would really Really, really like that one I put a ton of footage from fame expo uh, I really like the way I edited that video and I put a lot of love into it so go check it out but I use this highlight when I had my meet-and-greet at fame expo and it is currently the one I'm wearing right now and it is called ballerina I don't know I just love these types of highlighters I feel like you just can't get enough of them uh, this would be specifically good for someone with medium skin tone and up because anything a little bit lighter it is it is pretty pigmented where it it really works for my skin tone and up or even a little bit less tan than me I don't know like a medium and up but I really like this if you are fair skinned it's probably going to show up a little bit too rose gold or bronzy on you uh, you could always sweep it over a blush and stuff like that But I figured if you're gonna buy a highlight it's because you want to you know But that highlight though I like those cheekbones and around your face So yeah, I've been really enjoying this one and I'm obsessed with this shade right now Okay, so next is what's on my face and currently I'm not wearing a powder foundation or anything This is a BB cream and it is not set I am still currently testing it out because I want to do like an and an individual review on it but so far I'm liking it enough where I want to stick it in a favorites and this is the clean matte cover girl this is a brand new product I have what shade am I oh medium I'm not sure how many shades there are uh, not really sure how deep it'll go because usually when you have like light fair medium medium tan medium deep they usually don't go too far in the spectrum which really sucks but uh, I'm not sure yet I haven't checked the shades but I am wearing the shade medium right now and this is what it looks like not set with no powder I just have like my bronzer and stuff around but I really like it uh, it gives a really nice more of a light coverage but then you can build it up because today I did try a second I guess you can say layer coating I don't know painting in my face so I did a second coating and then it really I had like a little homie well I still have a homie like chilling trying to party and so it did cover it up once I went over it again so this is buildable and I really am enjoying this I like really light BB creams uh, this reminds me of what is this this reminds me of the Maybelline pure dream BB except that one you have to set and this one you don't because this is more of a matte one and the Maybelline is less coverage and a little bit more moisturizing to the face this one is definitely more matte because this is the clean matte version and I really like this it just says oil free won't clog pores suitable for sensitive skin lasts all day so so far I've been really enjoying it going to give a thorough like whoop or womp on it I've just been trying it this week want to try it a little bit more where I'm more sweaty I want to try it at the gym Yes, I said the gym. Okay, so my last Friday whoops or womps, I mentioned that I love and I'm obsessed with the Soap and Glory, the scrub, and also the body butter, that it smells so good. And a ton of you were just like, yes, that's where it's at. And I've never really raved about body products like that, but that combo together is just bomb. And specifically, I was just like, the scent is so good. I was like, why don't they make a body spray out of it? And everybody was like, hey, they do make a body spray out of it. And I had no idea. I just started trying out the brand brand and I don't know if like the soap and glory gods like heard me they're like Ooh. then they ended up sending a bunch of PR packages 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 to a lot of vloggers and then they sent out they sent out a whole set of the mists so in there was the original scent and this is my favorite one it smells exactly like the body butter and the scrub oh it is just perfection to me I'm not a really big body mist person it's like it's either i'm gonna wear perfume or not but this one smells so good definitely recommend it go check it out it's very light and fresh smells girly i'm not good at describing these just go check it out smell it for yourself for my very last favorite before i go into my two womps you guys are probably going to be really grossed out so that's why I'm just gonna flash it really quick. My Sigma uh, spa mat that I used to <laughs> 
to clean my brushes. Now, this spa mat is my favorite out of the whole entire line. They do have a glove as well, but I specifically like the mat because you just lay it in the sink and you just swirl your brushes and you never have to get like your hands wet or anything like that. I just swirl it. Well, I do get it wet because I kind of wring out the bristles just very softly so I don't like yank them out, but I love the mat because it just sits there in your sink and I don't know, I just find it more convenient. The, the glove is okay, but I, I like to bring that. I've actually brought that a couple times during travel. So I like to use that for travel, but the mat is where it's at personally for my personal use and what I really like. So I just place it in, um, scrub my brushes and it takes out everything. Like I'm talking about all the nitty gritty inside, especially my foundation brushes. Ugh. I have so much gunk that comes out of them and I've noticed a huge difference because before I used to just swirl it in my hand and like kind of shove my brushes down which isn't the best thing to do but with that it has so many different textures that you just rub it in and it gets out all that nitty gritty but highly recommend that matte whenever you want to go on Sigma I do have an affiliate code it is whoop w-o-o-p and you will get 10% off for life. Okay, so now let's go on to my two wamps. So recently I have been self tanning and I've been using the Vita Librata Luxury Tan. This is a two to three tan mousse and this is the dark one. Now I've heard nothing but rave reviews and I will say this does blend really well. I've never gotten any patchiness. It definitely fades nicely. Uh, the only thing is is that for this being the dark one, I don't think it's that dark whatsoever. To me, I would think that this is like a medium color. So I find that someone who is of a light to medium could even use this. Uh, I, I would think that this would be dark only if you were super, super fair. Like I'm talking about fair because naturally I'm not really that tan. Like I get really, really light and I really did enjoy this, but at the same time, I was like, oh, two to three weeks, like that definitely helps because I'm not someone where I want to self tan all the time. But it said that there was supposed to be no smell and there definitely was a smell. I mean, it didn't really bug me that there was a smell because I just figured every self tanner has a, just a funky smell. Even if it's like a better smelling one, it's still a little bit funky afterwards. But the thing that I thought was that when you use this, it says it lasts two to three weeks. So I figured you use this once and it will last two to three weeks. But when I looked at the directions, it said for the longest lasting tan, apply three times, leaving each application to develop for three to 24 hours. That's like a really big spectrum, three to 24 hours. So, and then it says shower between applications. So for me, it was like, now I have to wear this like every, like redo it every single day, like three days in a row after those three to 24 hours. So I noticed that I used a ton of the product, even though it's a mousse, doing it three times in a row, I was like, whoa, I'm really like covering some grounds because I'm 5'9 and I'm a long. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big time fan of this because I didn't find that it was that dark and I didn't think that it really lasted that long because I did do the whole three times and I was just like, this thing faded probably like in a week and a half, like a regular self tanner. So I don't know, I won't be purchasing this again because this was pretty pricey. Next up I got sent this Bare Minerals Powder and this one is the Matte and Glow. Uh, I, I thought I liked this at first, but I noticed that I only like this on top of my regular powder. So say like the matte one, it is a translucent one. I don't believe this that there's a flashback or anything like that because I don't think that there's any silica or anything in there. Definitely not an SPF. But what I will say is I do not like this on its own. So I thought I was really going to be able to just set my under eyes with the matte or the glow. I currently have it on today, but it doesn't really wow me. I noticed it kind of just cakes up my under eye a little bit more. So I've just been sticking to my RCMA powder. Uh, I like this kind of on top of certain areas of the face, but by itself, I wasn't really a fan. My concealer really creased when I tried to set it and it didn't do anything that like wowed me. I, I really had high hopes for this though. I kept trying it over and over for about two weeks and it just it just wasn't my jam. That is it for my Friday whoops and womps. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my last video, my get ready with me video. I think you guys would really enjoy that. And follow all my social media. I've been really good at Snapchat lately. 
And what else? Oh, quick update. Lots of people have still been asking about Ewok. I did make an Instagram, and if you are unfamiliar with Ewok, uh, I will put his whole Instagram, and you can see all the pictures, and I basically did a whole storyline so that you can see what's going on, what's happening, and all that. Just a big thank you from Ewok and all of us. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you guys in my next one, and bye. Mwah. Woo -woo.